Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to Fun in the Kitchen with April. So today we're going to make potato soup. And you know, with fall coming around, I know it's still hot, we're at the end of August, but fall will be coming around soon. So potato soup is a comfort dish, yes. And I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. And I wanna say thank you to all my subscribers who have been here from the very beginning. And to my new subscribers, thank you and welcome. And I hope you are enjoying all of the content that I have on this channel. Um, and I, I do take requests, like I'm, the potato soup is actually a request. And I just hope you, you are enjoying everything that I have. I do this because I enjoy it and I have fun with it. So I hope you guys are enjoying too. So we're gonna get into this potato soup. Okay, so what I have here, I use those little bitty small potatoes, you know, that you would typically roast. And I peel them normally for those little small potatoes and you're gonna roast them, you leave the skin on. But for potato soup, I don't think the skin is gonna be good. So what I'm going to do, so I peel them and I just cut them up, dice them up a little bit, but I'm going to roast them. And I'm roasting them because I wanna have a nice um, roasted, a little bit of crisps to my new, I mean, sorry, to my potato before I add it to the broth and everything, okay? So the things we're gonna use, we're gonna use this um, complete seasoning. We're gonna use some olive oil. Um, I have some mixed peppercorn. Um, for the whole recipe, we're gonna also use a little bit of uh, evaporated milk um, and some cheese. This is the Mexican whatever cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want. This is cheese I had, so I'm going to use that to make a nice cheese sauce to go with our broth as well, okay? So, like I said, I've already cleaned, diced, and everything, and make sure your hands are clean because nothing is worse than being a nasty cook, okay? You want clean hands, okay? So, let's season our potatoes with this complete seasoning and you know I like this seasoning because it has the onion the garlic the um, parsley and uh, salt and everything in here it's a, like it says it's a complete seasoning so I just like to use it. it has everything in there so just one seasoning and done yes now I'm going to add some of this peppercorn. I just like this peppercorn. I like the flavors that it has. It can be a little bit, you know, have a little bit of kick to it, but that's okay. That's what we want, a little bit of kick. Kick, ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of kick to your potato soup, right? Hold on, guys. I forgot to get my little um, spatula because I need to mix this around because I'm getting ready to pour that, uh, that olive oil on there. Need to mix that around to make sure everything is well blended. Yep. So now we're gonna pour, just sprinkle it a little bit, and then this olive oil is going to just crisp it up a little. Now I tell you what, I didn't do this, but because I already thought I was gonna do this, but I tell you what would be nice to and quick would be to put these potatoes in the air fryer and give it a nice um, crisp on it too, really quick, healthy, with a little olive oil on it and um, put it in that air fryer. And there you go, that gives you that nice crisp that, that we're looking for. But I'm going to roast them. I'm just going to roast them. I already have my oven set at 350 and they shouldn't take too long to kind of um, roast up a little bit. They're not gonna be real soft because I don't want them to be real soft because when I put them in my broth, they're going to cook a little bit more. But I just want them to have a little bit of, of a roasted feel to them, a little bit of a crisp to them. Um, as it nears the end of roasting, I'll probably turn the oven up a notch, you know, just to make sure that crisp gets on there, you know? Yeah, so this is all we're doing for our potatoes. 
okay and while we're doing that we we are going to while the potatoes are roasting we are going to prepare our broth okay so let's make sure all the potatoes are seasoned on here well yes they are give them some space to breathe in this pan okay just space them out a little bit give them some space because it's enough room for everybody in here yes yes okay so there we go. So what I'm going to do, I am going to put, oh, I forgot to tell you, we're gonna use this chicken broth too. And that is our broth for the soup. So now I'm going to put a piece of foil on here to let it roast. And then towards the end, I take the foil off just to let it, let it get a little bit of that crispiness on there. Okay, and that's all to this. I'm going to stick this in the oven for a little bit. And that's it with that. There we go. In the oven, our potatoes go. Okay, so I have my pot here. And I am going to, I'm using this big pot for our soup. And I am going to put, some broth in here there we go and I'm using chicken broth you can use vegetable broth um, and by the way you can the recipe usually calls for uh, Yukon potatoes but I tell you what I had those little potatoes and I thought hmm that may be great for making this soup so and this is you know my own take on it my own recipe but you know a lot of recipes call for yukon potatoes so i'm just using these little potatoes because i think it will come out great with these little potatoes so let's add a little bit more broth to that and you know we're going to add our cheese sauce to the broth okay so what we're going to do with this broth is I am going to add, just to give the, the broth a little bit more flavor, I am going to add a little bit of um, crushed bouillon. Yes. And hold on one second. Let me get a spoon so I don't put too much in here. Okay. All right, guys. So I just want to add a little bit more of a chicken flavor. It's, it's you know, it's not going to taste like chicken soup. But the crushed bouillon gives you a little bit more flavor. So I'm just going to add to it. And plus, it seasons it a little bit too. So, you know, because bouillon has salt to it. So this way, I'm not using any extra salt. I have my salt from the crushed bouillon okay and there we go i'm gonna rinse this off right quick hold on give me a minute so i can rinse this off my spatula okay so i rinsed off my spatula so now i'm just going to stir around that crushed bouillon in there and you know what i think i also want to add uh oh i splashed a little bit out of here i'm gonna put it on my big eye in the back but um so you guys can see i just pulled the uh pot over a little bit um i am going to add a little bit of um uh, of garlic powder and a little bit of onion powder to my um my chicken broth just to give it that little extra flavor there yeah, just a little bit. So this is a little bit of onion powder. I don't know how much, guys. You just seen me sprinkle some, so I, I didn't, like, measure out how much. But this is just going to add nice flavor to our soup, okay? A little bit of garlic powder. Always nice to have those two things in here, okay? And then I'm going to just let this simmer for a little bit, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put this on my eye. 
I'm gonna move this back here and I am going to turn this eye on and I got it on a medium high and we're just gonna let that kind of boil, well not boil, but you know, get a little warm, let the flavors get mixed into that chicken broth, okay? So I will be back when our potatoes are done. Oh, but wait a minute, I'm gonna make our cheese sauce for the broth. Give me a second though. Okay, I am back. So I am going to put some evaporated milk into this pot. Okay, we're gonna shake this milk up. Open it. You know, evaporated milk is is uh, concentrated milk. Um, it's creamier. You, it's best to use when cooking a lot of times than just your whole milk. And we may add a little bit of just your um, regular milk to this. But for right now, we're going to start with this, okay? And so... I'm going to add some of this cheese in here so that we can have a nice cheese sauce because that's what we want. Yeah, I may have to add a little bit of, a little bit more milk. I may add some broth to it, but we'll see because we have broth in there, okay? So, and for this, we're just gonna let the milk and the cheese combine and the cheese melt in there nicely. That's all we're doing. That is all we're doing for this. Letting that cheese melt in here nicely. Yep, so that we have a nice velvety cheese sauce. And you know, like I said, I'm using the, the cheddar, I mean the um, Mexican style. So this one has just, um, cheddar and Monterey Jack to it. My other one is four cheese Mexican, but I don't think I'm gonna use this one. And this one is the four cheese Mexican, but I don't think I'm gonna use that one. So I'm just gonna use this um, Mexican style cheddar Jack cheese here and let that melt on up. And that's all we're doing. We're just gonna let it melt. And I'm just gonna keep, you know, stirring it to make sure it does not burn at the bottom of the pot. Because if you just let the cheese and the milk sit there, it'll burn and we don't want that. We wanna have a nice creamy cheese sauce to go into our broth. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna let this melt up and I'll see you in a minute. And again, I didn't, there are no exact measurements you see i just used one whole can of the evaporated milk and i have this big container of the the three pound container of the um chicken broth so i used half of that yeah and because I'm, i knew i was going to add this cheese sauce in there but i'll probably end up using some more of that chicken broth so we'll see we'll see how how much more I'm going to need. But I'm gonna let this cheese sauce melt up and I will show you how it's looking when I am done. But you're just gonna cook it and I'll probably show you, maybe I'll show you in between how it's starting to develop, which it is starting to do that now, but it still needs to melt a little bit. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, so this is what our cheese sauce is looking like. It still needs to melt some. However, I did add some more cheese in there just because it looked like it just needed a little bit more. I didn't add a ton more, just a, a little bit, just to give it more of a velvety, velvety um, texture to it. And it's still melting. It's still melting. So we're gonna give it some more time and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, so. I just ended up using all of this bag of the shredded cheese because I felt like it needed to be a little thicker. So now that my broth here is boiling, I turned it down to a very low temperature and I just wanted to, um, I wanted to remain hot. But I am going to put this cheese sauce 
into my broth, okay? So my cheese sauce is ready to go into that broth. And I am going to put it in this broth. But actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait a minute before I put it in the broth because I want to make sure that my potatoes are nice and done before I add this cheese sauce into the broth. I'm just gonna keep the broth going at a nice low simmer. And um, yeah, and it smells amazing, guys. It really does, it smells great. I can't wait for you guys to make it and tell me how you like it. Um, but I'm just gonna let this cheese sauce sit here. It looks great. And it's not real thick. And of course, it is still um, melting down a bit, which is fine. Because when I put it in the broth, it'll melt down all the way. But yeah, it is looking good. It's just the way I want it. It's that nice consistency right there. Of course, um, there's some cheese that is still trying to melt, but it's looking great. And it's smelling amazing in here. It Yes, 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 amazing. Yes, it is smelling amazing. So I'm going to check these potatoes and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so these are our potatoes and they're pretty good but i'm gonna just put it in the oven on 420 just to get a quick crisp on them so that they're not so soft well they're not soft now anyway but i want a nice crisp on them and then we'll put it in a broth and we'll mix our cheese sauce and everything in there all right i'll be back okay so we have our potatoes they didn't take very long to cook about 30 minutes and as you can see here, I did crisp them up a bit. So now I am going to take my potatoes and put them in my broth that we had heating up. Mm-hmm. Put those little potatoes right in here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Get all the potatoes in there. There we go. Okay. Let me get these the potatoes. All right, so I have my potatoes in my broth. Yes, smelling good. Mm-hmm. So, and also too, the reason why I roasted them is because I wanted to make sure that the um, seasoning is cooked into my potatoes because even though I put them in the broth and yes, the seasoning does come off, but you still have that good seasoning in there, you know? So now I'm going to take my cheese sauce and I'm going to pour my cheese sauce into my broth. Yep. Right on in my broth. Oh yeah. So now you have a nice creamy, creamy soup and that's what you want. You want that nice creamy soup. And if you need to add a little bit more cheese to it, you can do that because I once you put that cheese sauce in there, hold on. Let me put my pot in the sink. Yeah, once you put that cheese sauce in there, it dilutes a little bit because of the broth, right? So you may want to add a little bit more cheese to it but it is looking and smelling delicious so i'm gonna let this cook up a little bit i may add a little bit of cheese a little bit more cheese i may we'll see but it is looking delicious mm-hmm 
Yes, guys, and I'm sure you can see it. And look at all the seasonings in there. And that's from the potatoes. So this is what we're looking like. It's still a little loose. That's okay. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to let it cook together a little bit. And we'll come back and see what we have. And I'm going to put my lid on there as well. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm back. So I want to thicken up my broth just slightly. So what I did, I took some broth out of the soup, which by the way, I tasted the broth. It tastes amazing. And I took some cornstarch, just a little bit of cornstarch. And I put it in this cup and I'm stirring it so that my cornstarch gets blended in there and it's not lumpy. And then I'm going to put it in the soup just to thicken it up a little bit, you know, cause it's not quite the consistency that I want, okay? So I'm stirring up this cornstarch and I took like two spoonfuls of the cornstarch, this size spoon, so there's like a teaspoon. I took two spoonfuls of this. And so I have my cornstarch combined in there. So now I'm gonna put this back in there. That's what I want. I wanna put it back in there and I'm gonna stir it around because I want it to get a little bit thicker than what it is right now. There we go. See, that's what I'm looking for. This right here. Let me show you guys. You see that? That is the consistency I'm looking for. So it's not so loose. And I think I am going to add just a little bit more of um, the crushed bouillon. So I'm going to add some of that to it. And um, yeah, and go from there. And because I think it just needs a little bit more flavor of this, this um, little bit more chicken flavor, chicken broth flavor. So that's going to really give it a nice, nice flavor. Okay. So I added that in there. Oh, yeah. This is coming up nicely. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to let it, it's basically done. It's smoothed out. Look at this, guys. Look at this. This is amazing. I think I can just turn it off and let it sit for a few minutes. And what I'll do is I'll plate it up for you to see. Now, some people like bacon on their potato soup. Um, some don't. But you can use bacon as your garnish on your potato soup. That is amazing. It's awesome in potato soup. So yes, you can do that. But I am going to let that rest for a minute and plate it up for you in a few minutes. All right. Okay, guys, this is our potato soup. I crumbled up a little bit of um, bacon and sprinkled it with some parsley. So, I will taste it for you. And I'm telling you, try this recipe. I think you guys are going to love it. So let's get a little bit of that bacon with these potatoes, okay? And it's hot, so let me blow because I don't want to burn my tongue. Not good if you burn your tongue. You can't taste anything. Mmm. Let me tell you something. This soup, and you know what? You could probably put some sour cream on this. It's so good. The flavors are there, just the right amount of everything. I mean, and you use that complete seasoning, it does it all. Oh my goodness. This is really, really good, guys. So I want you guys to try this recipe and I want you to tell me how you like it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and press the notification bell so that you know the next time I have 
a great recipe coming for you. Bye.